Welcome to Dell Sonic Wall Video Solutions. My name is Kritika Nakshatri and I'm an Enterprise Technical Support Senior Associate with Dell Sonic Wall. Today, we will demonstrate how to configure port forwarding. In other words, how to allow access to an internal web server on a specific port from the outside world. Configuring port forwarding on a Dell SonicWall UTM appliance requires identifying the public and private IP addresses of the local resource that needs to be accessed externally. Create the necessary address and service objects. Create the inbound NAT policy. Create the WAN to LAN access rule. Here for demonstration, we are using a Dell SonicWall TZ215 Wireless Firewall. The current version of firmware on this device is 5.8.1.14-480, which is a general release. As a standard practice, we go to System tab, Settings, click on Export Settings to take a backup of the existing settings on the firewall. Before we move to the configuration, we need to have clear information about what is the local IP address of the web server, what is the public IP address that needs to be mapped for external access to the server, the specific port on which we need to access the web server. Let's begin with the configuration. We need to create address objects first. Click on the Network tab, Address Objects. Here we'll see Add Group and add object. Choose the custom address objects on top. Click on add to add an address object. Name the server as per your requirement. Here in this case we will name it as server public IP. Select WAN from the zone assignment. Type should be host. IP address should be the public IP address we want to map to that server. The public IP in this case would be 103.19.168.11. Next, we need to create the address object with the private IP address of the server. Click on Add for new address object. Name the server as per your requirement. In this case, we will name it as Server Private IP. Select LAN as the zone assignment. Type would be Host. IP address should be the private IP address of the server. That's 192.168.168.68. Click on Add. Now we need to create a service object. In other words, an object for the port number. Click on the Services tab. We would see the service groups as well as a few well-known services that are already added. But for demonstration purpose, let's create a custom service. So we choose Custom Services. Click on Add. Name the service object as per your requirement. In this case, let's call it Remote Desktop TCP. Protocol would be TCP. Port range would be 3389 to 3389 since it's just one port that we require. So we have created the TCP service object. We'll also create a UDP object for the same port number. Let's name this as Remote Desktop UDP. Protocol type would be UDP. Port range would be 3389 to 3389. We now have two service objects, one for TCP and one for UDP. We need to group this together, so we use the Add Group option. Name the group as per the requirement. So let's call this Remote Desktop Services. From the left, we can choose the service object that was previously created. That's Remote Desktop TCP and move it to the right also Remote Desktop UDP and move it to the right. Click on OK. So now we have a group with both the TCP and UDP service objects added to it. 
Next, we need to create a NAT policy. Click on the NAT Policies option. Choose Custom Policies on top. Click on Add. Original source would be any, so that you can access this public IP from anywhere across the world. Translated source would be original, since we don't need to change the source IP. Original destination would be our server public IP. Translated destination is server private IP. Original service would be the group that we created, remote desktop services. Translated service would be original as we are not changing the port number. Inbound interface is X1. Outbound interface can be set to any. We can add a comment if required. Make sure the enable NAT policy checkbox is checked and then click on add. So the NAT policy has now been added. We now need to create a firewall access rule. Click on the firewall tab, access rules. Choose the drop down boxes. From zone would be WAN, to zone is LAN. Click on OK. By default, any traffic is denied from WAN to LAN. So here we create a specific rule to allow only RDP services. Click on Add. Action is set to allow by default. From zone and to zone would be grayed out. Service, we select it as remote desktop services. Source would be any. Destination, server public IP. The rest of the settings can be left at default. Click on Add. So the access rule has now been added. With this, we complete the process of port forwarding. Let us now go ahead and test the policies created. The public IP to be accessed is 103.19.168.11. So now we are connected and prompted for a password. We put in the password and click on OK. We can now access the server using the public IP address from anywhere we are located. This brings us to an end of this video about how to configure port forwarding on a Dell SonicWall firewall. To learn more about configuring port forwarding on a Dell SonicWall firewall, please visit sonicwall.com. For more video tutorials, you can visit software.dell.com support. Thank you for watching this video.